Hey guys, it's Day One Sammy here. Day one, morning one, at Jom Tiam Beach in Pattaya, Thailand. So I am at, I don't know if you can see it there. There's my hotel. It's the Jom Tian Palm Beach Hotel. Now it is beautiful grounds. In the background is the pool, the lounge area, and a little restaurant. And right across the street is the beach. And um, it's predominantly Russian in this area um, and Chinese. But the reason I chose this area is because it's away from Pattaya. I'm about 10 15 minutes by taxi from Pattaya, and it's a real quieter area, I, I would say, um, from like the intense party scene. Uh, so that, that's why I chose it. Also, I got an amazing deal on this hotel. Um, I like, I don't care about the rooms, I like the pool. And this has got grounds that are amazing, they're lush, tropical style grounds that spread across you know, this whole area here. And it's like they've got grass and everything and three different pools. So it's really, really cool. Now. There's a restaurant here, and then right across the street is the ocean. So that's it right over there. So let's take a quick look over there and see. It's about 10, 30, 11 in the morning, and it is hot. And one thing I love about this place, the ocean is calm. It's so nice. It's right across the street. So I ended up getting a suite, a mini suite, about 55 square meters. And I ended up for eight nights paying uh, just over $700. So that's less than um, 50 bucks a night. And that includes breakfast too. Now how do I get out of here? Oh, can't get out this way. You have to go up and out through the front. This is all locked up. Let's see if I can walk out this way. Anyway, yeah, so I got a really good deal. There's breakfast included um, every day for the eight days that I'm here. Um, and so far, I mean, it is an older place. It is. I'm gonna, not going to lie. It's not modern. It's older. Um, I think it was built in the 80s or 90s. Oh, it was rebuilt in the 90s because there was a huge fire here in the 90s. It killed a lot of people. <laughs> But anyway, um, like I said, the grounds are incredible. It's got one, two, three different pools. And as you can see, like lots of ground to like, to, to stay in. So anyway, I'm gonna go walk over to get something to eat now and just walk down the street. So I'll talk to you guys later. over to meet up the boys in uh, Pattaya and the only way to go is on a motorcycle taxi. So, I guess traffic is really bad. So, these guys get it very quick and find a guy. Just like Itaewon, except crazier. What? But here tonight, I'm meeting up with some friends who flew in from Vietnam, who I know from Korea. So they're here, they just, I flew in this morning, they flew in this afternoon. So we're gonna meet up, hang out. They're staying in Pattaya. Uh, I got us booked uh, a table at Insomnia Club. So 
we're gonna head over to that club in a little bit. Uh, check out the scene here and uh, hopefully have a little bit of fun. It's a Wednesday night. What else is there to do? I don't have to wake up tomorrow. So one thing I noticed about this street, of course there is you know, a lot of ladies working working the street, but let me tell you, it's, uh, it's a lot of uh, tourists more so just like looky-loos, you know what I mean? Um, people are just coming here to see this area for what it is. So they're all just, you know, walking up and down and looking at things, you know, just checking out the scene. I don't think they're really customers. So uh, I'm here to check out the club and see what it's like. And there's actually come a couple of clothing shops I want to check out as well. And a couple of live music bars I want to check out as well. They're really, really cool bands I heard. So I'm going to be checking those out as well, giving a quick review of those. I don't want to take a lot of pictures because a lot of people don't like pictures. But, I mean, you can see the crowd. It is really, really crowded. So, uh, it is, uh, you know, let me tell you. If the back alley of et one if they could, you know, glam it up a bit, neon it up a bit, it could be a major tourist attraction, just like this place. So, yeah. I think that that would be a fun thing. I mean, I'd like it. I, like I'm saying, I think I can probably predict 80% of the people here are just here to walk up and down the street and just to say, oh, I was here, and to take pictures. They're not here to party. They're not here to do anything except uh, a tourist. They're tourists. I mean, I see families. So it's definitely... Um, a tourist attraction which I would love to have in Itaewon. Alright, each one's have me partying it in Pattaya. Out. Sammy living life at the Moven Pick Hotel in Pattaya. Well, Southern Jom TM is a five star hotel and they have their own beach. I mean, look at this, it is beautiful. So, it is sunset time, so we're gonna go over here uh, to a seafood restaurant which is located right on the beach and we're gonna have a dinner there. So, the difference between this hotel and my hotel so, my hotel is in Jom TM at Soy One. This is about 10, 15 minutes away and it's a private beach. So much nicer, you know, it's five star, brand new building, really luxurious, expensive, i.e. expensive. So my place is uh, like a three star. I'm gonna give it a three and a half. It is older. Uh, it is um, a little more dated, but location is like five star. Other than the fact that it doesn't have direct beach access, you just have to cross the beach, the pool is amazing. I'm gonna take some pictures of it later, but the pool area is just beautiful. Um, I got a sweep, so it's 50 square meters, which is really nice size. Um, the view is amazing. The location in Jom Tiam is good, so uh, that's what I like about it. But again, it is a little bit older, the food is good. I can't really complain about anything. I had room service today, which was good. Um, yeah, I'd, like I said, it's just dated a little bit. It's a little older. The, the building is a little older. The furniture and everything there is a little older. So that's why I would only give it a three star. But overall, I'm gonna give it about three and a half. Uh, Jom Tiam Palm Beach Hotel. I'll put a link down in the bottom. If you're gonna come to Pattaya, that's where I would suggest because you're only about two dollar cab ride to Pattaya and the Jom Tiam Beach is much nicer than the the uh, Pattaya Beach. I mean as you can see, I mean just look at this. It's 
absolutely beautiful. That is Jump TM over there. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry. So, uh, that being said, uh, I'm gonna go have dinner. GT1 Sammy, out. Itaewon Sammy here on a private island. There is absolutely no one here except my friend. We are on a private island. We took a speedboat about 30 minutes from Pattaya and we're at a private beach. It's only about, I'm gonna say about 400, 500 meters wide and it's not kept. It's all you know, full of rocks and stuff and there's only a little shade over there. And there's no bathroom, no restaurant, nothing. We just have the food and the beer we brought with us, but the water is just beautiful. Crystal clear, sandy beach, just enjoying life. So it's about uh, 11 o'clock. We got here about an hour ago, cleaned up uh, our little area of the beach there. So it's, there's no rocks or anything like that. And we settled in, set up a little shelter from the sun and uh, our guide our driver is setting up a, a barbecue pit uh, we're gonna start a fire and there's like some fishermen right there so we're gonna ask them to sell us some fish some fresh fish and our driver is gonna gonna cook up uh, some fresh fish for lunch we brought some sandwiches and stuff like that from 7-eleven but he said you know he'll take care of that for us so we hired him for the day um, about for three people, 200 bucks. And they provide water and juice uh, and for the whole day. So I have him for I think about six or seven hours, which is not bad. I mean, I could have probably got a better deal, but I'm not one to haggle around. So anyway, we're gonna enjoy the water. It's beautiful, I mean, crystal clear. Uh, I mean, the beaches in Pattaya are a little dirty because of the crowds. Chum Tiam, where I am, the beaches are a little bit cleaner, but still the water is not cl crystal clear. So if you look, I don't know if you can see it. Let me take you into the water. Let's see if we can see it here. Can we see this? Here's my hand in the water. So you can see how clean and crystal clear it is. There's some rocks right there, some big rocks. But otherwise, oh, the water's so warm, it's so nice. So we're in the Gulf of Thailand on an island called Koh Phai, P-H-A-I or P-H-I. Like I said, it's about 25 kilometers from Pattaya. It took us about 30, 35 minutes to get here. Um, there's nobody here. We have the whole island, the whole beach to ourselves. I mean, it's empty. And like I said, the only people here are these fishermen right there, our driver and my lady friend. So we're going to enjoy our time here on the beach. I hope everybody's having a good time. We're going to talk a little bit more about Pattaya and what to do and where to go and where to party. Keep watching. Itaewon Sammy, out. Oh, that worked pretty good. That's amazing. No. Hmm? 
Zaydi. Yeah, he likes the meat. No. No, he doesn't like it. I said that he likes me. <laughs>